Hello everyone. I'm Miss B. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. This is Midday Makeover with Beauty by Miss B. And of course, like I said, I'm your girl Miss B. You already know we are here every Tuesday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, right here on Facebook Live. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey. So we just listen, y'all. Y'all already know this is um this platform. You know we don't take it lightly. We actually uh, love the fact that we can come and and just join you guys or have y'all to join us, and we can literally just talk about you know regular everyday stuff as well as you know be beautiful, y'all. The thing is, we, you know, when we say makeover, when we say midday makeover, we don't talk about just beauty stuff. You know what I mean? Um, we ain't talking about just makeup and hair and stuff like that. Of course, that's the genre that, we, you know, we work in. That's the field that we work in, of course. So, we're going to talk about that stuff. But make it being made over it doesn't necessarily have to do with just your aesthetics just your outer appearance and stuff like that it has a lot to do you know with um your inner and what's going on in that inner part of you your your spirit your soul your mind your body all of that stuff all of that your intellect your imagination all of that um makes up you it makes up who you are and we like for your outer you know what I'm saying? To match what's on the inner. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. Yes, ma'am, Tashana, girl. You made it on time, girl. You are here in the building, honey. So, girl, go ahead and share. Go ahead and share because, Tashana, when I tell you we're going to have a great conversation and I need you to chime in as well as your homegirls, okay? Cause, and even some of your homeboys because we're going to have this conversation up in here today. Right, we try to give you a balance, we try to give you a balance of makeover and um, you know, looks and makeup and all of this good stuff, but we also try to bring you some real life stuff. Thank you, boo. Thank you. We try to bring you some real life stuff, you know, real life top, like real life topics, so that you know, something that we all can relate to, you know what I mean. We are we, we are women, okay. I'm a woman. You know, the majority of our followers and our viewers and stuff like that are women. You know, so we 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 go through some things. You know what I'm saying? We go through some things and you know, emotionally, we are emotional beings, honey. If you like me, then you are a walking tear duct. Okay. And I, I say it all the time. I am a walking tear duct. I feel people. I feel their hearts. I feel what they're going through and all of this stuff, which is why I, I kind of got to isolate myself sometimes because it could be an overload, especially being in the field that I'm in. Oh, my God. When when our clients sit in our chairs, it's like we become counselor. We become, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Planned Parenthood. <laughs> we become everything you know what i'm saying and it's like oh god when i leave and when i finish the day although i love 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 every one of my clients love them dearly and i i am you know honored you know for them to come and sit in my chair and pour out you know what i'm saying and even trust me with their story and with their life but sis i be tired I be tired. When I go home, I am mentally and emotionally drained. Okay? So, I sometimes have to, you know, have to kind of declutter almost. You know what I mean? And, you know, I but I live too. You know, I have my life too that, you know, I, I, I got going on. And it's like, you know, for that person, you know, it's the saying that, you know, for the one that everybody is strong for, you know, who's there to be strong for them. And that's the thing that I have to be faced with a lot of times. So today in this topic, y'all, um, it's going to be some transparency. I try to be as real as possible. I try to be as real and as open and stuff like that. Because again, I'm a human being just like the next person. So it's like, I don't have anything to hide. You know what I'm saying? I don't have nothing to hide. You know, somebody, something that I'm going through 
or have gone through or whatever the case, I guarantee you somebody else out here is going through or, um, you know, me being on the other side of it, it can probably help somebody else. So I'm an open book. You know, I'm not ashamed of anything that I've dealt with and gone through or whatever the case. I'm not ashamed of my story. Um, I actually am privileged <laughs> to be on this side of a lot of my situations and stuff that I've gone through. Um, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, hey guys, thank you guys for coming in. Thank you all so much for coming in. Share, share, share because we haven't we haven't um you know broken into this conversation or whatever. Hey love, hey sis, we haven't broken into this conversation um just yet, but we are prepping and kind of getting ready for this. It's gonna be a um it's gonna be a good one, you know. Hi, first timer. Hey y'all, thank you so much. Uh Tanvia, Tanvia, Tanvia. That's a cute name. Um, come on in, come on in, come on in. Go ahead and share for me. Share for me. We're gonna talk about love today, y'all. We gotta we gotta talk about this thing. You know, we gotta talk. Yes, ma'am. I know you here, love. I know you here. Hey Nessa girl. Hey Nessa. Y'all go ahead and share, y'all, because we're gonna talk about love. I wanna hear from every one of y'all. And that's real life, y'all. I wanna hear from every one of y'all. Okay, so I had a call come through, y'all. Um, I want to hear from every one of y'all on this topic of love. We all have had our different experiences, right? Um, and again, I am no different. You know what I mean? We've all had our different experiences. But what? What? How? The topic is what does love have to do with it, right? Um, okay, so let me share my story. And then y'all chime in. Y'all know how we do. Y'all know right now we just good girlfriends sitting around the table just having this conversation, okay? So my story is this, okay? Um, everyone knows that, you know, I was a wife, okay, of someone, right? Um, but it has been what people don't know, a lot of people don't know, is that, you know, I haven't been a wife in over two years. Okay, you gonna <laughs> you gonna get a drink? Go ahead, Shana. Go ahead, get you a drink, girl. Go ahead, get you a drink, cause we about to have some good girl conversation up in here today. I have not been um in the role of wife for over two years. Um, I, I will I will say this. I'll say this. It. I I don't have anything negative to just say. You know what I'm saying? Outwardly and publicly about. You know, my ex and stuff like that. Mm -mm. Wish him nothing but the best. I promise you, wish him nothing. He's he's moved on. He is engaged to somebody else. And that's all fine and good. And I wish him nothing but greatness and happiness. And he already know. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want nothing but the best for him and his family. And, you know, all of that stuff. I'm still in communication with his family. You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, uh, congratulating them, celebrating them. The whole one, too. You know what I'm saying? There's no hate. There's no animosity, you know, but the thing is, um, there was something that I was in need of, you know, that I wasn't getting. And apparently there was something that he wasn't, that he was in need of too, that we, for some reason, could not link and could not sync that thing together. You know what I'm saying? Now, we were together for a number of years, a number of years, but... And there was love there. Don't get me wrong. But the question is, is love the only thing that can keep something and someone together? What does love have to do with it? If, if someone is mentally not there, if someone is emotionally not there, if someone, you know, if they don't have the wherewithal to you know, bring funds to the table or if they drive don't match your drive or if 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 <laughs> if they come in and they step out their clothes and leave them right there at the door. You know what I'm saying? But you you got OCD. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what what does love have to do with that? If y'all just can't get it right. You just can't connect on some kind of level. Is love the only sustainable thing? Can love be that only glue? 
You know what I'm saying? What if, okay, so say for instance, what if you guys come together and you're young? You know, you're young. You got your young mind, he got his young mind, you know, or you know, whatever, you know. And you know how they say women mature faster than the, than the men folk, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you say it ain't got nothing to do with it. It, it ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Listen, but you know how they say when the women mature faster than men, right? So y'all young and y'all come into this relationship and 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 she just she going up to a higher level in maturity. And yet he wanna stay the same. What happens? Because y'all was head over heels when y'all was young and when y'all first got into this thing. But what happened? You know what I'm saying? How do you keep that? How do you sustain that? How, Sway? How? I just need to know how. You know, and so for me, you know, I think having having different upbringings, different backgrounds, different challenges, different experiences, different everything. It just took a toll on each one of us individually to where it it outwardly displayed. You know what I'm saying? And 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 it was just it was too much. It was too much, honey, too much. So, we had to make a decision. And the decision is like sometimes you just got to bid bid them farewell without Going that without ha go, having to go to jail, you ain't caught no case. You know what I'm saying? Because it shouldn't have to be there. It shouldn't have to be that, y'all. It shouldn't have to be that. If you can kind of come together and make a collective decision that this just ain't working, this ain't working. And I, I think, you know, it could. I couldn't be happier. You know, not to say that he didn't bring me joy because we had some great times but I think today I am my happiest self today without anyone tried relationships and everything after that mm. not to say no shade on nobody but I think there's certain thing that I'm looking for and honestly y'all I think I'm best solo because I have a I have a hustle that when I, when my mind is set on something on accomplishing something I don't know how to not hustle I don't know how to not get it done if I set a goal and and, and, and then I set my mind to achieve this goal, then that's where my focus is. And sometimes in a relationship, you know, sometimes in a relationship, you really got to be all in. You got to be all in. Not to say that I wasn't all in, but, you know, unless that person that's rocking beside you, unless they got that same drive and that same hustle and they understand, they're not going to understand that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to understand it. So it's either you got to pretty much dumb down what your, you know, what you working on just to, to, to savor and pacify them or they got to come up to your level, but sometimes they don't want to, they want to stay the same. So, you know, do you stay the same just to keep them the same or do you to keep people? What do y'all say? I ain't got it in me. I can't do this. I can't do it. Unless you got the same drive that I got, I'm sorry. This ain't gonna work. <laughs> I'm not even finna play with you. Don't even open your door. Don't even, cause I can't. I can't. Cause I gotta keep it pushing. I gotta keep it pushing. And I would love to build an empire. I would love to grow and move forward and 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 build and 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 expand and stuff like that but you wanna you gotta make sure that that joker you rocking with you know what i mean is ready to build and grow and expand and all of that too because it's tired you know y'all look here to shiny you say it's too much friction it is it's too much Cause if he if he or she ain't ready to build and grow, they just want to stay the same, and you want more 
out of life, out of everything. And what the heck is going on? That's going to be a clash. That's going to be a clash. You know, I had the hustle and, and he had the means, but he didn't want. Now, what is that about? I'm going to tell you one thing about me. I can't stand a pet peeve of mine. Is for someone who you, I just said this this morning, for someone who you know have the potential, have the ability, have the everything to be greater than what they are. But mediocre is what they choose. That thing bothers my soul. To sit there and watch somebody be less than what they you know they can be. That bothers me, y'all. Hi, Beverly. How are you, honey? Y'all go ahead and share. Because I want to hear. I want to hear what y'all got to say. Vanessa, what you got to say? Um, you know, I I just... Can love be the only ingredient? You know. Can love be the only ingredient? Love, you are a newlywed, honey. So tell me. Tell me. You... When it comes down to... to Love. Now, don't get me wrong. I love everybody. I do. I love everyone dearly. You know what I'm saying? But love can't be it. Love is not it for me. I can only speak for me. I'm sorry. I don't, you know, that's why I said everybody give me your opinion. Because I could be left field, honey. But when it comes down to me, I need more than that. I need drive and went for us women, y'all. We y'all know we gotta have security. We gotta know that we can trust our lives to you. But I'm big on if I can if I'm sitting back and because I'm an observer, and if I'm watching you squander your own life away, I'm not finna give you mine to squander. You haven't proven yourself trustworthy to me. I, I can squander my own self. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need no help. I don't need you to throw my life away because you want to throw yours. She said, I'm single for the same reason. I was in an abusive relationship for 10 years at a young age. Oh, my God. And you know what? And that's another thing, too. And let me tell y'all something. For the record, y'all, this lash is about to get in my dig. I got it. I just pulled it out. That's another thing. Um, I don't know what form of abuse, e any form, is terrible. But I think that people assume that just because it's not physical abuse, that it don't hurt, you know, it, it just as much. Don't you know, because I've been in a relationship where um, verbal abuse was tremendous. I'm talking about that joker was saying stuff out the side of his whole entire neck. His just his neck just flapping open. That just just talking crazy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My new husband and I both have the hustle and no You see what I'm saying? You got the hustle, but see that hustle right there, I'm gonna go back to you, Vanessa, but that hustle right there, that hustle is going to bring forth the means. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. So the verbal, emotional, and mental. Okay. Verbal, emotional, and mental. Um, and physical. Those are the forms of abuse, right? Let me tell you something. I had to deal with the verbal abuse. And let me tell you, y'all, that thing, one, th one thing you cannot unsay are words. You can never, once the words are out your mouth, they can be forgiven, but they cannot be forgotten. They cannot be forgotten. And me personally, I'm the type of person that if I don't mean it, I don't say it. So when somebody says something to me, harsh or not, when people say things to me, I take it as if that's what you really meant. That's what you wanted to say. You, we say what we want to say. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you say that, yeah, financial abuse is another one. Lord have mercy. You know. But if you say something to me and it's hurtful, that means that that's kind of premeditated. Like you done 
And I know we say things in the heat of the moment or whatever the case. Yeah, we say things in the heat of the moment. But if it were not in you to say, you would have never said it. Um, there's a scripture. I can't even tell you where. But there's a scripture in the Bible that says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Which means that if it were not in your heart, it wouldn't even come out of your mouth. It would have never came out of your mouth. It was in my marriage. In my marriage, there were certain things that I could not bring myself to say to my husband. I don't care how pissed off I was at him. Okay, there we go. I think somebody's trying to, well, anyway. But anyway, okay, so guys, okay, we were talking about, you know, um, verbal abuse. Now, there were certain, certain things that I just could not bring myself to say to my husband. Because at the end of this argument, I, I need you to remain feeling like a man, okay? I can't cut your legs from up under you. And then think that, you know, that you're going to, to, to lead us and lead our marriage and all of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need you to still feel like, because at the end of the day, whether we're together or not, you're still another human being. You're still another human being. And I cannot, I can't with good conscience, I don't care how pissed off I am at you. There are just certain things that I just cannot bring myself to say to another human being. But unfortunately enough, some people could care less. They will say and do some of the most, oh my God, my blowing, hurtful, soul killing stuff. Beverly, what you said? You said, whatever the relationship, you must travel in the same direction in order for it to work. Same mind frame, style, respect, and love. That is so true. Because if not, then you are going to have a tug of war. You know what I'm saying? You are going to have a tug of war. If you cannot, if you are not going down the same you know, path and stuff like that, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be some struggle, y'all. Don't get me wrong. There's no relationship that's you know, easy. No relationship is easy. None whatsoever. And if it is, then you know, you, you might want to uh, question some stuff. But in the, in the same token, it's like we got to be moving along the same path. We got to be communicating the same. We got to be talking the same talk. It's like one band, one sound. You know what I'm saying? Like Drumline, the movie. One band, one sound. We got to be talking the same talk, going towards the same goals. We got to be on the same path and all of this stuff. We got to have the same level of respect, the same love, the same this, the same that. Okay, so now with that being said, let's move to the other part portion of this, right? Y'all go ahead and share. Share, 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 y'all. Share because I'm, I'm loving the dialogue, okay? The other portion is with respect to what Beverly brought up, moving along the same path, right? Um... What if y'all started off on the same thing? Y'all done wrote out visions and vision boards and all of this stuff. And then as time go by, y'all want this, y'all want different stuff. You grow apart. What happens then? You know, what happens when one partner wants something different all of a sudden what happens if that one partner says you know i never really wanted this i wanted it or i went with it because that's what you wanted but what i really want is something different what happens with that what happens when one partner says um you know yeah, go ahead and pursue this or go ahead and do this. And then when you actually do it and pursue it, no, I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to pursue that no more. You know. What happens then? Or what happens when you guys come with a plan, come up with a plan 
and say, okay, we're going to do this no matter what. But doing, going down that path and trying to achieve or reach that level of success or that goal, it was more than what you bargained for. It's causing for more money to be spent. It's causing for more resources to be utilized. It's hard, you know, is this, is that. And then it just causes a huge strain on that whole relationship. What happens then? Vanessa says, it's okay to grow apart. Learn from the lesson and throw away the experience that... That's exactly what I say, girl. I say, that's life. That's life. You know what I'm saying? People grow and move differently. You can't be mad at somebody because they didn't... You know, they not moving how you moving all of a sudden no more. I don't, my thing is, I don't want you to change. I don't want people to change. I don't want you to change at all. I want you to be exactly who you want to be. However, understand this. If, if, if who you are conflicts with who I am, then when that decision is made, I don't mean no harm, baby. I don't want you to change for me. I don't want you to change for me. I want you to be exactly who you are right now. That's what I want. But if who you are right now don't match or fit who I am right now or where I'm trying to go, I'm sorry. We just ain't going to work. We're just not going to work. And... In my opinion, and I just may be going against some of the, uh, you know, because I was born and raised in the church, you know, and 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just don't. I'm not one to settle. I can't settle. I can't settle just because I said I do, or I can't settle. Just because, you know, um, well, you're in it now, so you might as well, you know what I'm saying, go with, roll with the punches. Roll with the punches? I'm so, I ain't going to be able to do it. I ain't going to be able to do it. I'm not rolling with nobody's punches. I can't do it. It has got to be better. It's got to be something. And I will say this. And I know I'm a girl, I'm a woman, and all of that good stuff. And we like cuddles, and we like affection, and we like all of this stuff. But I want to be able to say, okay, goodbye, good night. <laughs> I, I want to be able to say that. I want, I want to be able to go into my isolation place. You know... I want to be able to miss you. I want to miss you. If we up in each other's face all the time, I'm going to get a little tired of you. See, that we ain't supposed to be rolling with nobody's punches. I don't think we're supposed to be rolling with the punch. Just let the chips fall as they may. Just whatever. Oh God, I can mm -mm, mm -mm. I ain't rolling with nobody punches. I'm telling you that. No Lord. I want to be at a place where I am. I desire you. I want to be around you. I, girl, 18 years. Girl, the devil is a whole lie. It's if I'm finna. Girl, whoo. I did almost 10. And, and, and I ain't going to be able to do it. <laughs> I, the devil is a whole snag of two ball head lie. If I'm finna pull an 18, rolling with some punches, shh, not me. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm going to roll, roll on the river before I roll with some punches. I'm, I'm doing, chuck it. <laughs> I'm chucking deuces, baby. I can't do it. I can't do it. I cannot, will not, shall not, won't not do it. Mm -mm, I won't do it. 
God won't do it. I ain't gonna be able to do it. But I'm telling y'all now, I I like to miss you. I like to, you know, I like to, mm, I like to go to my corner and just have that that moment of silence. You know what I'm saying? Come on here, Vanessa. That's it right there. When I learned to love myself, then I saw my worth. Girl, you said a mouthful right there. I'm going to tell you something. Going back to my story. Now, I tell my story very well, okay? Going back to my story. You were doing it for the kids? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Let me go. Okay. I'm, I'm going to address the kids. And then, Vanessa, I'm going to go back to what you said. Doing it for the kids. Do you believe your children is slow? Because your kids ain't slow. And on top of that, the, the kids know. They ain't slow. They know. They know. They know. Okay? Trust me. Because when they coming in and they feeling this tension in there and all of this stuff and mama ain't saying nothing to daddy in two years and, <laughs> and y'all walking past each other quiet, silent, and, and you're forcing a smile on each other, you know, just to save face, you know you can't stand that joke. You know you can't stand that joke. Good. And he know, he know he, he, child, can't stand the sight of you. You know what I mean? Them kids, no. They know, okay? Now, secondly, this is the most important. When there are children involved, do you not understand that you are showing them how to be in a relationship? You're teaching them what it means to be in a relationship. So if they see that mama is suffering, mama is not happy at all, and then they see you sustaining that unhappiness, if you got girls, do you know you're letting them know that you got to stay no matter whether you happy or not? Yes, learning that because hindsight is always 2020. Hindsight after the whole situation is over is always 2020. And we are doing we do more harm staying in something like that, especially when children are involved. We do way more harm than good. Way more harm than good. You know how many people I know are in it for the kids? And if there's girls involved, then we're showing the girls what's acceptable. No, don't be happy. Stay there because, you know, stay in it. You know, <laughs> don't give up. Girl, that's just men. That's just what they do. You know, it's okay. It's all right. Hey, Samika girl. Um, and so, you know, it's so it's okay. Don't worry about it. He'll he'll be over it. Or she'll she, you know, this'll pass. Don't worry about it. Stay there, girl. Don't you go nowhere because you know, mm -mm, you don't want it. You'd rather you rather have in have, have somebody than not nobody at all. I don't know what rationale that came from. Because that old saying, what I can do bad all by myself. Yep, that's real life. Because I can. But see, here's the thing. You know, you like to go out and talk to others about your journey. Good. Because you never know who you're helping. You never know what your story is, who your story is helping. You know what I'm saying? I knew. It is a curse that has to be broken. Absolutely. 100% of the time. It has to be. And also, too, for your boys. If you are a parent of boys, you teaching the boys that it's okay. You know, you can talk to the woman any type of way. You can treat her any type of way. And she ain't going to leave. She's going to still remain loyal to you. She's going to still wash your dirty drawers, cook your food, and, you know, no God. No Lord. Mm-mm. 
You know, we teach those children, we teach them kids exactly what it means to relate to one another. We teach them what it means to relate to one another. Okay? Now, as far as your um, lessons learned, I don't regret anything, again, that I've gone through. I don't hate anybody that I've been with in my past. Nothing at all. When I tell you, I genuinely wish them nothing but the best. Absolute success. Absolute success. And I can sit here and say that I can actually have a, a mature conversation with an ex about their current situation. You know what I'm saying? I'm that, I'm that ex that you can actually call and be like, man, listen. You know, hey amen. You know, I got, I, I kind of messed up. I did this to her and I said this to her. And I'm the one that's going to be like, nah, you know, you got to do right. Now, you know, you got you to gotta go make that right. You got to go to her and tell her that you didn't mean it. You apologize. Matter of fact, go get her some flowers. What's her favorite flower? I'm that ex that's going to be able to go to you and say, fix that. Fix it. Because you don't want, and I'm the one that's going to say, remember when we used to, and remember when you said this to me, and it didn't, you, I didn't like when you said that. I used to, remember I used to tell you that I couldn't say, hey, Tip, hey, girl, remember I used to, I used to tell you that I didn't like that. Nine times out of ten, bro, she don't like it either, so stop saying it. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. I'm the ex that's going to be able to tell you that. I don't hate none of them. I don't hate any of them. I want you to be 100% happy. Want you to be. You know what I'm saying? I told my ex when it came down to his current, like, bruh, you get because it was one time, it was one time that I think he had walked out the house and had to walk out the house to call me. You know what I'm saying? He walked out the house to call me and I heard the wind in the background. And I said, Where you at? Where you at? And it wasn't about nothing, nothing wrong or anything like that, just a general conversation. I said, Where you at? He said, I'm outside. What you outside for? <laughs> he said, because uh, she don't know I'm on the phone with you. Negro, if you don't get in the house, what you calling me? Uh-uh. I told him, I said, because don't be, uh-uh. Because if, if a female called my phone, because you outside sneaking, no, nah, Negro, goodbye. Goodbye. Get off the phone. Get off, because I ain't got time for no drama on my line. Okay? Get, get in the house. Get in the house. Okay? Get inside. The house. I don't want I don't need her thinking nothing. You understand me? Because ain't nothing happening here. Ain't nothing happening. Ain't nothing gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I don't want her to think that they it is something. No. Mm-mm. Goodbye. Goodbye. God bless you. Thank you for coming out. Please come again. Okay? <laughs> Vanessa, you say I'm that ex too because I don't need you back in. <laughs> Right. I don't need you in my rose bushes. I'm just saying. I don't need you there. I don't want you there. You didn't had to, we didn't had our pruning time. Okay. We didn't had our gardening time. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. But the thing is, you know, again, I don't wish you nothing. But I'd wish you nothing more than nothing more than what you deserve. That's all I want for your life. You know what I'm saying? Bye bye now. <laughs> bye bye now. Exactly. That is it. That's all. Now, if you need to hit my line about something, you know, important, absolutely. Now, the little small chat and stuff like that, I don't think that's wise. I don't think that's wise. I think you need to be, you know, mindful of that. Okay? Don't don't play around with that. But I always say, I always say, my exes are my exes for a reason. Okay, my exes are my exes for a reason. There's no, and ain't nothing wrong, you know, with with having a conversation or whatever the case. That just says that you are mature enough to have that conversation. Period. You know what I'm saying? If he was to give me an invitation to that wedding, baby, I'd be right there. When you register that? When you register? Okay, because because <laughs> I'm gonna send. I'm the one that's going to send a gift. Okay. Yes, I am. When you register? Because I want nothing but the best for you. But I myself, I'm somewhere else. I'm somewhere else. And I, now I don't believe that. Um, but I don't believe when it comes down to relationships. 
I don't believe that love is enough. You know, because you can love somebody dearly. Love them dearly. But is that enough to sustain that thing? Is it enough? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she said, uh-uh, all my exes can kick rock. I hear you. <laughs> now, now, don't get me wrong now. Everyone can't hit my line. You understand? Because some of them, baby. Nah, nah. Every one of them can't hit my line. Uh-uh. Don't you call this phone. You call this phone, it's going to be some, you know. I might have to go say a couple Hail Marys after this phone call. Okay? Don't, don't, don't call my phone. Okay? Some people already know. I wish you would hit my line. I won't. Matter of fact, I dare you. I, I double dog dare you to hit this hill, this phone right here. Hit this hip and watch see what happens. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. We not doing those things at all. Not at all. Some people know. Mm -mm, don't even cross me. Don't cross me, bro. Don't cross me at all. At all. But some of them understand that, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, in the mature, and, and plus it also do depends on what happened in the split. What happened? You know what I'm saying? If I foresaw me cutting you and you blowing my head off, then it let's just let's just 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 say this ain't gonna work. <laughs> if I foresaw me going to jail and you you know going you you getting lethal injection, then let's just, just let's just go on ahead and say this ain't gonna work. Okay, this this here just ain't gonna work. We could just go on ahead and let bygones be, but we try. We tried and uh, this ain't gonna work, okay? You know, I just, <laughs> I'm just gonna release you. You release me, and you know, hey, you know what I mean? It's just, we really tried. We gave it a good, honest go. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> some, sometimes it just takes that, you know, sometimes it just takes that decision, and then you just, you just go, you know, and do what you gotta do. You know, because, and I know it may be a small, a, a hard pill to swallow, but you might be someone else's hindrance as well. I'm just saying, I know it's tight, but it's right. You know what I'm saying? You very well just may be the reason somebody ain't moving forward, dude. Because you're trying to hold on to something. Oh, okay, then. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna leave that right there. I'm just gonna leave that right there. Okay. I'm just gonna leave that right there. You know what I'm saying? You just may be holding somebody else back. You know, people grow, man. People grow. They grow apart. You know what I'm saying? It's and that's okay. That's okay. I think once we realize that that is okay. You can love somebody enough. I love you to your core. But I love you so much so that I'm about to give you your walk-in papers. That's how much I love you. Because I know I see you suffering in this. I see you miserable in this. I see you. And if I love you, then why in all things good... Would I keep you here? Why? Just to say what? I got somebody. You can have somebody and they own life support over here too. But it's not doing you any good. Holding on to something and trying to resuscitate something that's been dead five years ago. You better sign that do not resuscitate and keep it pushing. People grow apart, and that's life. That's life. You know, if there's children involved, listen, it, it may be a little more difficult when children are involved. It may just well be a little more difficult. But again, you know what I'm saying? Again, even in that, you know, when children are involved, I'm telling y'all, you're doing the kids the favor by being real. Be real with the situation. It'd be like, look, y'all, listen, we just gonna sit y'all down as a family. 
And I'm sure you noticed that, you know, mom and dad ain't really, you know, the, the, the curl ain't quite curling all the way over with us no more. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure, I'm sure they know, I'm telling you, there is not a child. I went through it. I went through it. And this is the irony of my family. <laughs> Why do people want to call? Why do people want to call when I'm talking about something real life? See, that person probably need to hear what, what I'm talking about. They probably in something jacked up too. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just playing. I don't, I don't think it. <laughs> Listen, my mother and father, when I was a child, they actually, you know, they, they split. They divorced when I was a child. Okay. Um, they, it just, they tried. They tried. You know what I'm saying? But I think it was a situation where my mom was going one way. My dad was going another way. You know what I'm saying? They were teenagers. I think my mama was a teenager when she had me. Who does that when I done sent you to the voicemail? Who calls back? Get your life. Okay? Get your, on the line. Get your life together. I done sent your whole entire to the, to the voicemail. Stay there. Leave a message and keep it pushing, okay? If your hair ain't caught on fire, leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone, okay? Okay, so now, <laughs> Jesus, ain't this a mess? Somebody out here need to hear this. That's what it is, a distraction. It's the devil, that old snag of two devil. Okay, so look, <laughs> so my mother and my father, they grew up hard. They were young when they met. They were very young when they met. My daddy was trying to do this. <laughs> Ma, don't be laughing at me. My daddy was trying to live a life. My mama was trying to live another life. And then they had they had me, you know, the illegitimate child. You know what I mean? That might explain a lot of my issues. <laughs> they might explain a lot of my problems. Okay, you know. Um, Keisha, we talking about we talking about love, girl. We talking about love. Okay, so <laughs> so then then they they got married after me. And then they have my brother. So, but even in that, you could tell they tried to make it right. You know what I'm saying? They had me. My daddy tried to make an honest woman out of my mama. You know what I mean? So they got all of this stuff. They tried, they built a family. Got have my brother and all of this. But it still wasn't enough. Because them jokers got divorced. Okay? You know, my mom was going one way. You know, my dad was going another way. They tried. They tried. And guess what else, though? He lived his life, you know, got remarried. My mama lived her life, got remarried, had children. Both of them had children or whatever the case. Don't you know, fast forward, 30 years later, 30 years later, they got they both got grandkids and everything. You know them jokers that came back together and got remarried after 30 years. Re, re, again, remarried after 30 years. Look, Keish, Keish, girl. And, and it's, it's crazy how life does those, does things like that. Because back in the day, they couldn't handle each other. They couldn't handle each other. Look, she said, come on, Jesus. Look, yeah, ma, look, look, you right about that. You said a mouthful right there, mom. Because I didn't know how to deal with this. I'm like, hold on, because I didn't got used to y'all not being together. You know what I mean? I'm used to two Christmases. Okay? Can I get my gifts over here and over here, too? Now y'all jokers want to come together and, and combine income and give me one gift. What type of foolishness is this? I done had 30 years worth of two gifts. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? How y'all gonna just play me? You know what I mean? Look, ain't that the selfish? That's selfish right there. But I'm just saying, I love the fact that they came together. I love the fact that after 30 years, they were able to reconnect and reconvene, <laughs> reconnect that whole situation. But, 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 it took 30 years of maturity, of maturing. 30 years of growing, 30 years of sacrifice, 30 years of learning and appreciating, 30 years. Don't you know they could not have done this? It would not have been a success had they stayed in that situation 30 years ago. I promise you they would not have made 30 years. I can guarantee you that. 
because the mindsets were different. The mindsets was different. And somebody had sense enough to say, look here, uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, my mic on, excuse me, excuse me. This ain't gonna work. Somebody had sense enough to say, uh, I got to go. This ain't gonna work. And it was the experiences and the life lessons and all of that stuff, the tribe by the fire, and all of this stuff that they had to go through in for 30 years in order to redo this thing, come back and say, you know what? Now I can deal with you. Now I can handle you. Now I can actually love you the way that you deserve to be loved and vice versa. Now, after 30 years. So you can't tell me that timing is not every, does not mean something. Timing means everything. And I'm talking about my, my daddy was married 27 whole years to someone. 27 years. You know, I know, you know, mama, I know you understand. You know, I know. But my father, he was married for 27 years. And it is not to discredit anything that he and his previous wife went through, the lessons that was learned and all of that. I got my siblings and all of that stuff. Okay, that's all great. But after 27 years being married, after 27 years, in them 27 years, it was, th it was this. And you got to know when it's enough. What does love have to do with anything? Sometimes love is just not enough. You can't force a square in a circle hole. You just can't do it. Sometimes you just got to know when to say break. When to say cut. You cannot be miserable. I'm sorry. I don't care what God you worship and serve, but I, I can almost guarantee you that that God don't want you to suffer and be miserable all your life. That can't, that is not his will for your life. It's not. A decision got to be made. And sometimes it is for the best. She said it best. What does love got to do with this? I love you, but I'm going to keep letting you bust me upside my head. I love you, but I'm going to keep letting you talk to me crazy. Let go and let God. Yes, ma'am, honey. You better learn how to let go and let Jesus the Christ fix this whole thing. I swear, I'm, it's something, I, I love you, but I'm going to let you kill my dreams and my joy. You know what I'm saying? When you have to say, boy, bye. Yes. Tell him, boy, bye. Eh, tell him, but I'm telling you, you got to know when to say bye. I love you, but I'm going to let you, every time I get a check, you finna go spend it. You ain't thought about no bills, no lights, gas, food, nothing. Okay? I love you, but I got to sit up here and let you just kill everything. Tear me down as a woman or tear me down as a man. I, I love you, so I got to stay here? You ain't supported Jack that I wanted to do. Nothing. But I love you, so I'm going to stay here and deal with this. Toodles. That's real life. I love you. But you talk bad about me, my mama, my daddy, my dog, my goldfish. I love you, but, 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 you know, I got to compete with Everybody, for your attention. <laughs> to the now, to the now, now, no. You right about that right there. 
No. No. Love ain't it. Love ain't it. Love is unconditional. Agape love. There's, there's different levels of love. Okay? Agape love is unconditional. You know? I need to be a motivational speaker. What up, girl? I just want to motivate you, love. I need you to motivate me. You motivate me. I motivate you, girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At what point, like Vanessa said earlier, do you love yourself enough to say, um, the way my life is set up, I need my peace of mind. And you, although I love you, ain't worth my peace. You, although I love you, you ain't worth my joy. You, although I love you, you ain't worth my sanity. You ain't worth my dream. You ain't worth my goal. I would love to have all of this and you. But sometimes that decision got to be made. You got to choose either or. And if it comes down to me and my purpose and my dream, my goal, my aspirations, my joy, my peace, my health, okay? I'm sorry, I'm, you know, you cool and everything. But I choose all of that. I choose all of that over this year just to be able to say, you mean to tell me I'm finna give up and I'm finna sacrifice all of my peace and my joy just to say I got a man? Goodbye. I'd rather you consider me a nun <laughs> before I give up all of that. If I can't depend on you to encourage me in every step of the way to be my joy, to be my, my cheerleader the whole way through, man, bye. Goodbye. Mm -mm. I love me. And if a person is taking you through all of that, if they taking you through all of that, then you can't love me and do that to me in the same sentence. You got me messed up. Your whole definition of love is altered. It's twisted. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. So that mean I got to fly so low, do low. That's how, that's how she going to fly. Because I'm not desperate for nobody. Nobody. Love you. I love you. I love you dearly. And I love you and mean it. Okay? But what I'm not going to do is that right there. I shouldn't have to suffer. You shouldn't have to suffer. Hell, nobody should have to suffer. What you suffering through? You got to suffer through a relationship, girl? Stop. Stop it. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And I'm talking about in every shape, form, and fashion. If I am connected to you and I can't depend on you to support, to encourage, to motivate, to cheer me on, to, to, to love, to cherish, to respect, honey, to respect me, those are just common expectations in a relationship. I can't depend on you for that. I'm good, baby. I'm good. We shouldn't have to have a round table meeting about why you don't support Jack. <laughs> we shouldn't have to have a mediator when it comes down to, you know what I'm saying, you being there for it. I'm just saying, we shouldn't have, we shouldn't have to have all of this. I love you. But I love you enough to cut you loose. And I love me enough to keep my sanity intact. You know what I mean? So tell me what y'all think. I know y'all, y'all in here preaching. Y'all in here, you know, the amen corners. Tell me what you think. 
I, and I've been seeing some loves and everything, and I've been seeing some laughs and some hearts and stuff, but I ain't seen none in a long time. Is y'all loving on me? I don't want to have to break up with you. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Y'all, love on me. Did y'all share? I know y'all shared quite a bit, too. Y'all share quite a bit. So, I mean, I don't know. What does love have to do with it? What does love have to do with it? To me, love is not enough. I can love somebody from a distance, too. I love a lot of family members from a distance. <laughs> I love all of them, some of them, most of them from a distance. Because sometimes I can't be around you. Mm-mm, baby. And guess what? They probably can't be around me either. And guess what else? That is okay. That is side eye with me, okay? It is. It really is. So any any further thoughts? Any further ideas? Any further comments on the on the matter? Love say I need to be a life coach. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> I don't need to be nobody life coach. I, I just I talk real though. I'ma just I don't sugarcoat nothing. I ain't got enough sugar for you. I can't cope. <laughs> I don't sugarcoat Jack. And I think that's part of the reason why a lot of people can't really take me, you know, all the time. Because I tell it like it is. I do. I do. I, mm-mm. You know, mm-mm. I can't do all of that. I, I can't sugarcoat. Because I love you too much. I love you too much to sugarcoat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting on me since last time. I love you more, love. I love you more, girl. You meant for me to love you. I got to love you because your name is love, girl. Got to love you because your name is love. So love, love, honey. Love her. Love on the love, girl. Um, Y'all, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I thank you guys for your dialogue. I thank you for your comments and your, you know, your your uh, attributes and, and, and your impartations in this conversation. I do. I do. Because, you know, without y'all, I'd be sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> be looking crazy out here in these streets. So I appreciate y'all for, um, you know, joining in in the conversation. I thank y'all for, the, especially the loyals, for y'all coming every week, every week. And yes, we do this every single week, every Tuesday, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, right here at Beauty by Miss V Salon Studios, right here at Midday Makeover with Beauty by Miss V. I am your girl, Miss V. That is me, your girl, Miss V. Okay, and we are here every, like I said, every Tuesday. We love to have you here. We love, love, love to have you here. Also, if you're in the Atlanta, Georgia area and you do not have a salon home and you do not have a local stylist, you know, you say your video stopped working. Girl, mm -mm. you see how, you see, you see, you see how the, the devil come in here and try to snatch it. You try to snatch that old message from you. You know what I'm saying? But you got to say, get thee behind me. Okay? Y'all already know. Huh? Huh? Y'all already know. Don't get me up in here preaching. I ain't preached all day. <laughs> I ain't preached all day. Y'all don't get me up in here preaching, girl. Girl. So, yeah, so go ahead and share. And I'm pretty sure y'all, I already know that y'all know it's some people. If it's not you, y'all know some people that, that's going through this thing. Okay, get your happy back. Get your happy back. And I mean that. By any means necessary, girl, get your happy. Am I saying break up with folks and just end the relationships left and right? No, no, not at all. If you are happy, if you are, are content, if you if you are in a situation and in a relationship where you are it's flourishing, you guys are flourishing together, then by all means, baby, salute to you. Salute to you. You want to set up a visit? Girl, come on here. If you are in the Atlanta, Georgia area, we are right here in Union City, which is approximately 12 minutes from um, Hartsfield Jackson Airport. Come on by, come on by, come on by. We are not far from Atlanta at all. We are right here, 4651 Flat Shows Road, Union, Union City, Georgia. This is Suite 6B. 6B as in B, 
as in Miss B, right here, Beauty by Miss B. Ah, ah, ah. We are right here for you, waiting on you. Come and see us, come and see us, come and see us. We would love to have you. We have, we do hair here, of course, naturally. We do makeup, we do nails, we do braids, we do quick weaves and sew ins and silk press, and we grow your hair. Alopecia treatment, okay? All of that stuff. We make wigs, all of that, girl. Come on down here, girl. Come on down here. And it's not just for the women, folks. Okay, we service the men as well. Mm hmm. I'm so, waxing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Body waxing, girl. Body waxing. Get on down here and get that hell off you, good. Get that hell off you. Out your pits. Mm hmm. Remove the. <laughs> get, 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 get that up. You are. Girl, get that. Girl, get that, girl. Come on down here. Come on down here and see us, see us, okay? Come and visit us. We would love to have you. There's always a warm seat of welcome here awaiting you, okay? Until next time, guys. You already know I love it, love it, love it. Love you and enjoy you every single week. Until next week, same B time, same B channel. Right here, Beauty by Miss B Salon Studios at our midday makeover with Beauty by Miss B. We love you, love you, love you. Peace.